Hello everybody, this is Drew Naylor. Today, I'm going to be showing off a level that I made for Super Mario 64. As the title implies, this is a level that I made intended to kind of simulate a four-dimensional 4D gameplay experience in Super Mario 64. So Super Mario 64D, if you will. Uh, first, I have a few notes to say. I have a seizure warning. The walls aren't entirely solid, as I made the level in Google SketchUp to quickly get a prototype done instead of using Blender. So there are some walls that you can easily get stuck in, and they will rapid, and they can make the screen rapidly flicker. So that's a problem uh, if you're prone to seizures or anything else that can be triggered in a similar way. Well, you can watch this video. I will remove any parts that flicker. Just don't play the actual level. Sorry. And there will be text on screen that says that there is a seizure warning for that too for anyone that... If you can't hear uh, audio. If you're just looking at if you're just reading it. If you can read but you can't hear, for example. Now I got this idea from two different videos. One video on seeing the actual level, not the like coins and stuff, but the geometry of parallel universes in Mario 64. And I also got in another video that I think let you travel between parallel universes with the D-pad. One of them was from Kaze, and the other I don't remember who that was from. If I find those videos, I will put links to them in the description because they're really neat. Now if you want to play this level for yourself, uh, it's kind of short. It's just kind of like a prototype thing to show off that it's possible. If you want to play it for yourself without being spoiled by the video, because I'm going to show basically everything about the video and then I'm going to show how I made it. Uh, if you don't want to be spoiled, then in the description there's a link to my ROM hacks page on my website, which in there you'll find a link to a zip file with the patch in it. And there will be a readme file and a zip file and stuff like that. It'll be an IPS patch. So you'll need to apply that yourself, but then once you do that, then you can play the level. So go ahead and do that if you want to, pl like I said before, if you want to play the level without being spoiled. Oh, I gotta move my mouse off the screen. Whoopsie. Um, if you want to play the level without being spoiled first, um, otherwise you can just watch me play it. If you watch me play it, then it'll basically show you how to do everything, and then it might be more interesting to figure it out yourself. I need to mention, um, I'm not going to be explaining what the fourth dimension and how that apply how that can be applied to games because it's really complicated. So I'm going to hope that viewers already understand that concept. Instead, I'm going to be leaving a link to a really good explanation by the 4D Miner d uh, developer. Basically, four-dimensional Minecraft. It's a really good explanation. I highly recommend watching not only not only that explanation part of the video, but also that the whole rest of the video because it's super cool Minecraft in 4D. So anyway, let's get started. And I just put it over Bomb Bomb Battlefield. I didn't change any text on here because it's just, you know, prototype and stuff. Alright, here's the level. I gotta switch. Whoops. I'll move that. Gotta switch to Mario Camera. And do this. And there's a, a thing here. Whoops. I forgot where the edge of the level was. And I've given myself a hundred lives. I've given myself infinite lives to make this easier. Alright, I gotta switch the camera again. Um, and here's the... Well, let's just kind of do this. So there's an area there. Red coin up there, down there, and some blocks up there. Wonder how we get up there. Well, we'll see. Oops. Oh, we gotta go up there. And then as you can see, there's this, um, platform down there. So we just start here, 
And yeah, the texturing is not very good. It's As I said before, it's just a prototype. We can walk around here. And then go here and there's a red coin. Walk right through that wall. And back flip up to here and there's a red coin up here. Can't go, whoops, can't go into this, uh, into this pipe for reasons. Um, you won't want to, you won't want to jump down there, trust me. Uh, at least not right now. So there's the other part of the level. It's the other side. Doesn't look like we can just long jump over there. Although you probably could if you had moon jump. I'm sure that, oh, gotta jump over that collision. Weird collision. Um, I'm sure that someone could probably get over there with a triple jump or something. Definitely with a moon jump. There's probably... Probably if someone wants to speedrun it, I'm sure there's a way to get over there. So down here, we've got a red coin. Is there another one? Nope. Got a pipe. Let's jump down here. And I switched the camera oh, again. And now we're down here. No red coins down here. But over here we've got more level. So here we can see that the level has shifted over. See that we can't go over here, but we can go over here to this area. Uh, and then there's, yeah, nothing over there. Now I... I would have preferred to have some red coins in this 4D chunk. I'm calling them 4D chunks. I would have preferred to have, yeah, and there's nothing over here. But you can see there's a star down there. wonder how you get to that. But there's an empty area. I would have preferred to have red coins. Oh yeah, and then this is just a sliver of the area it once was. Um, I would have preferred to have the, um, to have some red coins in this area, but in Mario 64, red coins are tracked. You see there's red coins. I have three red coins. They're tracked per area, so I couldn't do that. Oh, and now there's a switch here. Switch. Um, so, um, I don't remember what this pipe does. Go in here. I think this just... Oh! Okay. So we drop down here. Um, got a red coin. And then we can go back. Go back over here. Just take this pipe. Sorry about that. And it takes us to this. So that's one way to do it. One way to go through the level. Oh, that's not good. Okay, there's a red coin in here. I forgot about this. Oops. I forgot about this red coin. I can grab. And we're up to... Five of them. And you can see a screenshot of the level there. Which looks pretty nice. So we've got this here. There's basically two ways to get around this level. You can either do that route that I did. And then... Got this red coin, and here's the seventh red coin, there's a switch there, but we haven't gotten the last red coin. Where is it? Um, uh, I don't remember, so I'm gonna go jump into this pipe to take us back to the beginning. Take our, take our pipes back to the start. So I'm just gonna go... Oh yeah, it's up there. That's right. So I'm just gonna go under... Go into this pipe. And instead of going into the top pipe there... There we go. Instead of taking this pipe here, I'm going to take this side path. Oop. Give myself full health again. And over here... You can see we can access that star. So we can go either over there or over here. Um, I put a bunch of blocks here to make it easier for keyboard 
players. Oops. Be right back. So then you can just drop right down there if you want instead of walking around. Oh, and you can also walk through walls. And then... There's the pipe. I also kind of got this idea from Tiny Huge Island. I realized, wait a minute, Tiny Huge Island kind of has the same idea. Because in that level, there's two different sections that you can explore. Um, and then you jump into pipes to travel between them. So I was like, oh, that's a great idea. There we go. Pipes of those blocks, jumping on those blocks are really hard to do on a keyboard. I'm only doing that because I don't particularly want to get one of my con my controllers set up. This this texture here looks really weird when you go up it. Um, so anyway, we're on this side. So there's like half half the level there. And then that's the that's there. Got to zoom out. I recommend the Mario camera for this. And then we can jump over to this platform and then just kind of um Long jump over here. There we go. And it's intended that you're supposed to jump into this pipe. And then you jump out here. And then you jump out here, can grab the red coin, walk over here. Alright, and then grab these red coins. You can take that pipe back to the main area if you want. Oh, I forgot to get the other coin. Uh, let me do that really quick. And I have to travel back into the other 4D chunk. Alright. Oh, okay. Oh. I forgot about that. Then again, I made this level in January, and it's March now. I only, uh, I only just got time to record this because I had been. Oh, there we go. Fourth one. All right. Oop. Maybe I should go to Mario Cam. There we go. Um, yeah, and you can see through the floors. Oops. Um, you can also walk through these walls, by the way. So, yeah. Um, I had been working on the... how many coins do we have? Alright, we have seven. Now, we need to get the last one. I had been working on the Wii U and 3DS eShop series. I had to record a lot for that. But I finally got it done. So, um, now we can jump up here. Oh, I'm gonna... Miss that. Okay, I need to do this again. I tried to make this go as long as possible. Oh, they're back. Oh, uh, what happened? Oh, I I fell down into the middle area there. So um. I guess that's one way you could speedrun the level. Alright, we got the fourth one. Oh yeah, the um the blocks up there I just remembered that was from the testing version of the level. Five, six, seven. I'm just gonna speed run it again. There we go. All right. Um. Oh. Oh. Nope. There we go. Sorry about that. I had to remove that part. I got stuck in the wall. So we've got. Um. 
some blocks up here. And, uh, There we go. I added the moon jump because it's like, okay, I can't keep doing this. Alright, there we go. And there's the star. Here we go. And that's the red coin star. I did not change the name. Oh yeah, because I have the moon jump on, it doesn't prompt me to save. Uh, but yeah, I, I didn't change the name of the stars. I was just like, oh yeah, this one is good. Um... Yeah, Mario Wings to the Sky is what that one replaced. Alright, now I'm gonna show the, uh... Actually, first I'm gonna show these, this area up here. Oh. Yeah, these are just some blocks that I added to the prototype stage. I don't know where I got the D-pad health code. Uh, but I, it was somewhere, but I really appreciate it, whoever put it together. I don't know if it was James S. or someone else. I know James S. did the tree, the control trees code. Um, alright, so I'm just gonna kind of long jump over, or long jump and then moon jump over to this, and then... I'm gonna step on this. There we go. There's the star under the under the thing. And then of course it doesn't save again, but that's the first star. So um now I'm gonna show you how I made it. Alright, so first I opened up SketchUp and then I designed, well, actually first, first first, I designed another level. Here, let me show you. Okay, here's the levels. This is just a plane and then the second one has a plane with a box just to kind of show, oh, it's different. Because the intention is, like, we kind of move, it kind of shifts over. Uh, oh, oh, I closed... I, I thought I had in the same... I thought I had two different windows open. Alright, here's the main chunk. Chunk A, the one that you spawn into. And now I see that it reverses it, it flips it. When I import it in SM64 ROM Manager. But yeah, basically this is the level here. You can see basically everything here. And uh, basically what I did in chunk B, I took this, saved it as chunk B, and then I just basically went here, went through this, just sliced it off just right here, and then I added, and then I extended the geometry out here, the checkerboard thing, and then this other thing down here. I extended them out. So yeah, you can see right here, um, these lines, that blue line there on the side. That's the original part, and then this is the extended one. So then I, I, I don't have that for this. I just extruded it. Is that what it's called? I, uh, push-pull. Uh, so then, yeah, I just kind of did that, and then I textured, and, th and then I just used SketchUp textures uh, from in here to just put it around what I thought would look at least somewhat decent. All right, and then I went into Mario 64 ROM Manager, and then is this chunk A? Yeah, this is chunk A, and that oops, camera's different in here. And then I went in, and then, oh, oh, that's a little fast. Let me slow that down. I made it faster, so it was easier. Yeah, that's better. So it's quicker for me to move around. And then I went in and, uh, and then just added in the textures, or added in the items, Mario Start, and then the, the warp pipes, you know, and then the red coin. And then and I added... Uh, the 
the pink bomb bomb thing there on the pipe to tell you you can't go into it in this chunk or in this section of 40 in this 40 chunk so I was like I was like ah oh, you know there's a plane or helicopter I think and I uh, that's it's gone mostly now and uh and I was thinking well with 4d you could have it like these are four-dimensional things like when it shifts and when it shifts over they go away because of 4d um stuff so then yeah there's the the um red star for red coins um yeah and then well, red coin doesn't render that's okay though it's boxes um pipe pipe to go back you know these are just from the what i showed you before the prototype prototype uh now i'm gonna go to area two Oh, that's kind of zoomed in. Let me zoom out a little. All right, and you can see there's the invisible boxes to get to the star. I didn't want to just have a star there that can be easily accessed. I mean, you could probably get to it from here if you jump down and then back kick into it, or if you just run through the wall like I did a few times. Um, didn't even know that was a glitch, or that that was a... Let me fly. Um, we're flying. Um, something, something, him, male. Whatever. Um, if you know, you know. But it's very overpowered. It's very fun. Uh, man, I wish more games had that feature. Um, anyway, here's the second chunk where you can get that star down there. I figured it would be, I don't know, actually, no, I don't remember. I don't remember if I was like, oh yeah, I could have one star in one chunk and another star in another chunk, or if it just happened to end up like that. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's... Chunk B. You got the blocks there and the pipes. In this pipe, in particular, you can go into this pipe, and it goes to what warp is this? Um, warp ID seven. Goes to oh, goes to area one. Warp twelve and warp twelve. Let me see. Okay, so that one's. 17. Oh. And 17 goes to 112. So what's 12? Uh, let me see. Oh, okay. And that one is... Oh, that one just takes you back up to the top. So, yeah, so then you can, you can jump in there in either, uh, in either the chunk A or B to go back up to there. And it kind of makes sense because this is accessible in both chunks, just like, just like these, but they kind of behave a little differently. Like, that one goes between, well, this one goes... Actually, no, they all are intended to go from between the in between the chunks because like if you jump into this warp pipe here it in no matter the chunk, it will go back to chunk a because forty stuff forty shenanigans, and then down here, this one goes to you jump in it in. 140 section and it goes the same one you can go back and forth in the same area i think so uh warp one goes to area two warp two all right and then area two warp two 
goes to warp area one, warp one. And that one, this warp pipe here, uh, all right, that one, yeah, that's, it just kind of shifts you, oh, sorry about that. It kind of shifts you between, shifts you throughout 4D. Now, I would prefer to have some way to, oh, that, I don't like those stairs, but uh, I didn't know what else, what other texture to use. I, that was the best way I knew to have it make kind of sense to like you're shifting between the dimensions because ideally what I really wanted to do is to like use the d-pad like Paper Mario or Super Paper Mario I mean to use the d-pad to shift between dimensions like you can uh, like you could over here you could long jump from this checkerboard uh, platform here long jump and then push the d-pad and then by the time you land you're back into uh, you're back into area one and then you jump you long jump over and then you go back to area one but I don't really know how to do that so I was like okay the second best option is to just have warp pipes in the places in the areas that the player is intended to warp between the dimensions this is good enough for now for an example of 4d travel in Mario 64 and then at some point I was like wait a minute before this once I was like at some point I realized, way before I figured out this setup, Area 1 and 2, with the 4D chunks, I was like, wait a minute, areas are the fourth dimension in Mario 64. And I was like, oh, that's so cool. And then I thought through what level design I could do. And then I was like, well, this could work. And it kind of does. It's, but it, it's so difficult to actually set up because you have to remember there's not one two three four five warp pipes there's five six seven eight yeah just eight there's eight warp pipes in this entire level and you have to keep the warps synchronized between them and then the warp pipe down here disappears too because 4d shenanigans you know the idea you know the drill and just making sure and stuff like that uh, it's really hard to actually oh and then there's one in there it's really hard to keep them in sync because as a player, you don't think about this. I, I hope the way that I designed this level is you don't think about how this is a four-dimensional, how this is in two different areas. And instead, I hope it just kind of flows together really well. I, I don't know how, how well this goes together. It's, like I said before, this is basically a prototype of four-dimensional levels in Mario 64 but I hope it's reasonably fun like I said before you can actually you can play this uh, ROM hack yourself um, it's a link in the description goes to the ROM hacks page on my website this looks really bad in here uh, the textures don't look great but I was like I I'll just get this together so that it's not in my head so I don't have to worry about it, something happening to it. To get it out of my head, onto the computer, so I don't forget about it. Oh yeah, and then the blocks up there disappear um, in Area 2. Because, yeah, they're not in there in Area 2. Um, or, yeah, Area 2. But yeah, I, yeah there, here's a zoom out. There we go. So I, I hope 
I hope this is like entertaining enough for everyone and like it's a it's a reasonable level just as a hey you can do this and I hope other people decide if they want to I hope they I hope other people decide to to try to do their own four dimensional levels because it's let me tell you it's it's tough on the brain like I was saying before with all the warps and you have to with a warp pipe I found that you have to in order for it to work correctly you have to take the warp pipe and then even if you're blocking it off have it be its destination so we've got warp pipe 12 here warp ID 12 uh, and for warp ID 12 I'm just moving down here warp ID 12 in we warp to level 1 area 1 warp 12 so that it just synchronizes there and makes sure that it doesn't go to a blank screen and soft lock so yeah that can be a problem just be careful if you're trying to do your own 4d levels oh like I, I forgot what I was gonna say I'm going to be including these levels in the ROM hack as well in the zip file so you will be able to uh, use them you'll be able to play around with them in SketchUp if you want whoops oh no, I didn't so you'll be able to play around with them in SketchUp if you want uh, I know that won't be very easy to do so but um, simply due to Google SketchUp being I'm using SketchUp 7, so this is really old. Yeah, ideally I would be using Blender, but SketchUp is just extremely quick to do things. So, yeah, it'll be in the description and all that. You'll be able to play it in Project 64. Um, I hope you have fun, and uh, goodbye for now.